Hey everyone, welcome back to Unwritten with Thomas Malpass. And in this solo episode, I want to talk about how to find yourself again, how to find myself again, and the process of rediscovering who you are and what you want out of life, whether you're midlife, whether you're late life. No matter what stage of life you're at, I think we could sometimes get lost and lose ourselves in whatever it may be. You may lose yourself in work. You may lose yourself in a relationship. You may get caught up and lose yourself in society and culture and community and where you want to fit in. And... This has been something I've personally struggled with, um, especially after separating with my ex-wife and just being so used to being in a relationship and then all of a sudden not being in a relationship and especially one that was kind of codependent and then trying to find yourself again afterwards, but I think it's really important to find your identity, find who you are so you can gain more clarity and live a life of more purpose and peace in your life. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I even started a podcast because I wanted a safe place to express my thoughts and feelings, but also to connect with the media, the people who are like-minded out there wherever I post my content and also have deeper conversations with people who share the same sentiment or who have a story to tell. One thing that I do to find myself again is to reflect on who I was as a child. Think back to who you were as a child and think back to times where you had the most fun and You were just living life. Uh, Maybe you don't want to, though, because maybe you had a trauma in your childhood. But if you didn't, think back to the times where you experienced joy and bliss and you were just living life as a child. Reconnect with those moments in time to to use a, a sort of anchor point to clarify who you were at that time and work from there start from that moment and then slowly uh slowly build back up to the moment where you think you started to lose yourself i think reconnecting with your childhood gives you a sense of clarity that can reconnect you with who you are and who you were at the time and as you think about who you were as a childhood and growing up think about the influences Think about the validation, the praise you receive. Think about the good times and the bad times. And understand that all of these influences, that's all they are. They are just influences, but they're not you. You know, I think we often can get lost in our influences, whether it be our friends or family, our close ones, our loved ones, and we get lost in their vision of who we're supposed to be and not our own vision of who we're supposed to be and I think this personally for me like throughout my relationships throughout my naval career throughout my (laughs) Filipino heritage and my Filipino mom and background we kind of build this pressure like I had this pressure of just succeeding in life you know like making good money and having being married having kids you know the traditional nuclear family and I think we can get lost in this sometimes I think we lose ourselves in this societal family whatever expectation and we start to lose touch with what we really want you know so sometimes You have to reflect on, okay, what were my influences growing up? What were my influences as a young adult or going into adulthood and the people I hung around? And how has that impacted my decisions throughout life? 
and another thing to mention about the influences as we grow up especially in the modern age is what do you consume you know like what do you what does your social media feed look like what does your algorithm look like that's a huge impact i think on our well-being and purpose in life because if we get caught up doom scrolling or scrolling on instagram models pages like i used to you get lost in this vision of kind of who other people are and then you get into this comparison trap where you just lose all motivation because it's like look at how successful they are how can i ever achieve that and i think you should never compare yourself to these people especially if it's superficial things um and you don't know who they are you know social media is a highlight reel of people's lives and you don't know what they're really going through deep down so never compare yourself to these types of people even if it's people you look up to you know only compare yourself to the person you were yesterday and who you are and what you really want and your own growth not other people's so i personally think the process of rediscovery is one of an everyday practice you know every day you wake up you get this chance to be a new person whether it be the person you are tired of being or whether it be someone you're envisioning yourself as whatever you want to accomplish and achieve in life and i think it's a, also a good practice to think about every day what you want who were you growing up reflect on what made you happy reflect on what makes you happy now and reflect on the decisions that ultimately led you to this reasoning of feeling lost or feeling stuck and i think once you start to reflect on all of these aspects in life and understand what you really want ask yourself what do you really want out of life what makes you happy what makes you fulfilled and start taking small baby steps in those directions i think you can slowly start to begin to find yourself again so for me for example i do a podcast now i work part-time jobs and gigs you know i'm, I'm looking for a higher paying job now but I'm not going to stop making podcasts. I'm not going to stop doing what makes me fulfilled and ultimately serving my higher purpose. So while I am content <laughs> with my life right now, I know it could be better. I know I could be striving for more. And that's what brings me fulfillment. The pure understanding of that I could grow every day. I can strive to be better every day. I could strive to be a better person than who I was yesterday and understand the setbacks that may feel like I'm losing or I feel like I'm losing myself from whatever influences I have this higher purpose that is kind of like a guiding light and I think if you could find a guiding light in your life you'll never lose yourself this is why I want to connect with whoever's listening you the listener you on YouTube whatever wherever you're at listening to me I want to connect with you guys so support support the show you know subscribe if this means anything to you and be a part of this journey you know i'm trying to build a community here of like-minded people who want to rediscover who they are and continue to grow throughout their entire life you know and i'm not stopping this podcast even on days where I feel lost and I feel depressed and sad and not doing anything, I still get up and try to do one thing in a direction that I want to go in. And I think doing that also helps you uh, get out of these ruts that we often find ourselves in. And I encourage you, comment, uh, review, mention, and share your story with me. Uh, and maybe I'll <laughs> promote it or share it on my next episode. And lastly, before I sign off, I just want whoever's listening to understand that the reason why, one of the main reasons why I started this podcast is a safe place to 
vent out my feelings first off and my processes of growth but also to connect with more people who may share the same sentiment or who are on a similar journey to me at the moment so whether you feel alone or lost we're on this journey together so that we don't feel too alone or too lost for too long so if this resonates with you please support the show and yeah i'll see you in the comments stay curious don't give up you got this peace